636 now convicted rapist Dean Kelly is back in hot water this morning, this time in connection to a murder for hire plot. Yeah, officials say Kelly was plotting to kill several city leaders and one of his victims by while behind bars at the Rayburn Correctional Center in Washington Parish. WDSU reporter Kelsey Davis joined us now live in the newsroom to explain what happened and who's coming to his defense. Hey there, Kelsey. Hey there, Randy. Kelly is accused of plotting to kill Orleans Parish DA Leon Canazero, New Orleans City Council Chairman Jason Williams, Criminal District Court Judge Tracy Flemings, Davalier, and a victim of a sex crime that landed him behind Kelly behind bars. Washington Parish authorities say the plot was brought to their attention last October. Kelly was placed on lockdown while it was being investigated. Officials say he tried to hire a former fellow inmate to commit the murders in exchange for $35,000 in cash, two luxury cars, a boat, and a BMW motorcycle. But Kelly's mother says it was her son who's actually the victim, the victim of threats and pressure from a former fellow inmate to write a movie screenplay. And that screenplay, according to Marilyn Kelly, had a murder for hire plot. Miss Ted Addison was told Dean, I can help you get out. In fact, he said in here somewhere that, you know, he got himself his sentence greatly reduced and all, that he had all these magical powers. And of course, when you're in jail and all you want to do is get out, you want to believe. Now, a legal analyst we spoke to says the Washington Parish DA probably does have enough evidence to convict Kelly. And if found guilty, that analyst says the second time offender Kelly is looking at 10 to 40 additional years behind bars. Very interesting. And Kelsey, can you tell us any more about the uh, initial charges that landed Dean Kelly in prison? That, I can, Charles. And if you'll remember, Kelly first made headlines back in 2011, accused of luring college girls to his parents' home with promises of a career in the limelight and then raping them. He eventually pleaded guilty in late 2013 to sexual battery and one count of unlawful carnal knowledge of a juvenile. He's actually in the middle of serving a 10-year sentence right now for those charges. And so these new charges will be, as I mentioned, an additional 10 to 40 years on top of that if he's found guilty. All right, Kelsey Davis Thanks, for us.